Detective, will you go to the prom with me? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Lucifer and Chloe moments. Bit late for a new case, isn't it? I'm not here for a case. I'm here for you. Chloe. I am the devil. No, you're not. Not to me. My first love was never Eve. It was you, Chloe. For this list, we're looking at the times when this pairing melted the hearts of fans. We're excluding one-liners and scenes with too much comedy to focus on moments that had significant meaning. How do you feel about this romance? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Their Prom Dance Chloe never had the typical high school experience due to her past as a child actress, including missing out on prom. All of that high school drama that I missed out on, the, the girly gossip, the hallway crushes, all those school dances, that's just not who I am. I, I like being the responsible adult. While she claims she's fine with this, Lucifer senses she's not being completely honest about it. Well then, <clears throat> I guess you won't be wanting this. After witnessing how excited she becomes when undercover at a high school reunion, he decides to take matters into his own hands. Upon being summoned to Lux, Chloe finds the club empty except for Lucifer, who reveals his intention to be her date to this impromptu prom. Detective, will you go to the prom with me? Complete with lights, slow music, and with Lucifer having eyes only for her, Chloe is touched by this beautiful gesture. With none of their regular banter getting in the way, Lucifer and Chloe spend the evening happily in each other's embrace. Number 9. Chloe Comforting Lucifer After Frank's Death during the initial days of their partnership, Chloe considered Lucifer to be obsessed with his party lifestyle. However, Lucifer becomes friends with a priest named Father Frank, and a bond grows between the two over their fondness for the piano. Father has got a soul. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, yeah. I'd like to take the top. Why not? Excuse me. Sadly, this is shattered after Frank is killed by Doyle. Upon finding a dejected Lucifer grieving the loss of his friend, Chloe realizes he's much more than who she considered him to be. I'm not here for a case. I'm here for you. Oh. Really? Yeah. I thought you could use a friend. Despite her limited piano skills, she plays the only piece she knows to cheer Lucifer up. I had three years of lessons. Mm. And this is all I remember. Although initially skeptical, Lucifer is encouraged by her gesture and obliges her in a duet. Feeling comforted by Chloe's genuine affection for him, Lucifer regains his smile as his sadness fades away. Number 8. Chloe Helping Lucifer Forgive Himself when Lucifer begins to give in to his dark side, the change in his character results in a change of appearance as well. Unable to control the transition, his devil side seems to become his true form. Filled with self-loathing, he becomes convinced no one will accept him. I hate that I am poison for anyone who dares to care about me. This is when Chloe reaffirms her faith in him, making Lucifer realize his conflicts come from his inner guilt for being branded as the root of all evil. And I think I know why you hate it so much, because deep down, you blame yourself just as much, if not more. Despite his rejection of her support, Chloe remains unwavering. Once having feared his devil form herself, she refuses to back down this time, asking Lucifer to forgive himself. Ultimately, it's this unconditional acceptance from Chloe that breaks the curse and brings Lucifer back in all his glory. I think you just took the first step. <sighs> <sighs> Number 7. Confessing their feelings for each other Faced with the possibility of Chloe marrying Cain, Lucifer goes into a deep denial over his feelings for her. And just because she unchose Pierce doesn't not mean she didn't choose me. The point is, no need to rock the boat. I mean, we all know how the detective gets when you push her. Plus, she's on the rebound. Claiming he only wants things to go back to the way they were, he tries to recreate the chemistry they had at the beginning of their partnership. When he's forced to admit he can't just let Chloe go, and upon learning she broke things off with Kane, Lucifer decides to face reality. 
Coming clean to Chloe, he not only admits his feelings, but also trusts her with his deep-seated insecurities. I've been avoiding dealing with things in the present, like how I feel about you. Moved by his words, Chloe instantly reciprocates Lucifer's sentiments, promising to accept him with all his flaws. Chloe, I am the devil. No, you're not. Willing to give their relationship a chance, the two acknowledge their romance by sharing a heartfelt kiss. Number 6. Chloe's Attempts at Flirting with Lucifer Once Chloe faces the fact that she's grown to have feelings for Lucifer, she tries to figure out ways to make things between them official. At least you're getting laid in your dreams. Because it's not happening in real life. You don't know that. Figuring she needs to act more like him to be appealing as a romantic interest, Chloe tries to adopt Lucifer's mannerisms. Unfortunately, due to her usually reserved nature, her attempts at flirting are awkwardly misplaced. That was weird. Yeah, but, but, let's go. Right. For once, Lucifer is left completely speechless, as the devil has no clue what to make of Chloe's sudden change in personality. However, it's hilarious to see Chloe step out of her comfort zone with stuff like invading Lucifer's personal space and making inappropriate remarks. Poor oh, Ricky made him count enjoying what little life he had left with sex or friends. Or sex with friends. Mainly, it's a welcome sight to see Lucifer and Chloe's pairing with their roles reversed. Number 5. Their First Kiss Although he spends most of their initial time together trying to seduce Chloe, Lucifer realizes he doesn't want to chase her for selfish reasons. From now on, no more attempts at moments. I'd be honored to uh, simply continue working by your side, if you're happy. Once Chloe becomes certain of her trust in Lucifer, their friendship starts to blossom into something more. Feeling guilty about his constant come-ons, Lucifer swears not to pursue her anymore, arguing that she deserves someone much better than him. You deserve someone better because you, detective, are selfless to a nauseating degree. However, his honest admission of his feelings encourages Chloe to give into her attraction to Lucifer instead, culminating in a kiss initiated by her. While their future is derailed due to other factors, the honesty between Lucifer and Chloe in this moment remains a sweet memory. More importantly, Detective, you deserve someone as good as you. Because, well, you're special. And I'm... I'm not worth it. Number 4. Lucifer's Birthday Gift for Chloe after learning that God orchestrated Chloe's birth in order to manipulate him, Lucifer decides not to pursue a relationship with her. So that means it's okay to turn your back on Chloe? Just ignore her feelings? Feelings she had no control over, feelings that aren't real. But she doesn't know that. Which is why I had to save her from... From you. Hurt by his sudden reluctance to be near her, Chloe's even more annoyed when Lucifer goes off to Vegas with Ella to find his ex-wife. Upon returning, he finds Chloe in his apartment, asleep after celebrating her birthday. Here, Lucifer reveals that he never did forget her big day, having hidden a special gift. You've woken up just in time for your surprise. This turns out to be a necklace with the bullet Chloe shot him with back in the first season. Well, I thought since I never likely penetrate you, I'd commemorate the one time you penetrated me. The significance of this doesn't get lost on her, as Chloe appreciates the gift representing how their former hostility has turned into true love and friendship. Number 3. Lucifer Protecting Chloe With His Wings In order to end all association with his life in hell, Lucifer had his wings cut off and destroyed. Understandably, he's not happy when his wings return, and tries in vain to get rid of them again. During their climactic confrontation in the third season finale, Cain orders his associates to shoot at Chloe and Lucifer. You made me realize that life is worth living, and I will do anything to stay alive. And if you get in the way of that. In an attempt to protect him, Chloe ends up getting caught in the crossfire. This prompts Lucifer to shield her from harm, using his wings to do so. Despite his great hatred of these wings, his love for Chloe is far stronger as Lucifer holds on during the onslaught. Fueled by his desire to protect Chloe, he accepts his wings once again to end Cain's threat once and for all. 
Number 2. Lucifer Winning Chloe Back with a Musical Performance Chloe and Lucifer's relationship hits a snag when he leaves for Las Vegas after finding out that God orchestrated her birth to manipulate him. We both know she's special. Oh, that she is. A whoopee cushion sent from Dad. I'm sure he's having a right old laugh at the moment. Things get worse when he claims to be married, throwing their partnership in doubt. Meet Candy Morningstar, my wife. An angry Chloe refuses to reconcile their friendship until he puts on a show she'll never forget. Pretending to dedicate a song for the suspect they're targeting, Lucifer arrives on stage to present his rendition of Eternal Flame. This next song is for a, uh, a special someone. A woman who says she doesn't need me anymore. Yeah, well, I say she's wrong. And I'm gonna prove just what I'm willing to do for our partnership. While Chloe tries to brush this gesture off, her anger visibly starts to fade. As he lays his heart bare through this song, Chloe is able to see that Lucifer never stopped caring about her. By the end, it's clear that Lucifer has completely won her over again. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Playing Monopoly with Trixie. Oh, well, name your price, urchin. Oh, I'm not talking fake money. Oh, wow. Well. She slammed you. When Lucifer doesn't take advantage of Chloe's vulnerability. Well, you've been trying to get me into bed since day one. Why are you saying no? Well, frankly, my dear, I'm as baffled as you are. I mean, usually I'd leap at the chance to fulfill my carnal desire, but for some reason I can't. Their first time being intimate. Incredible. Their attempts at hiding Lucifer's devil form. Detective, please, we both know I'm not a paper trail kind of crime solver. Something wrong with his eyes? Look again. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Chloe protecting Lucifer from a bomb. If you threw yourself onto me, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Their Declaration of Love Due to the release of Demons on Earth, Lucifer is forced to confront his minions and return to Hell. Unfortunately, this forces another separation between him and Chloe. I need to keep them contained. They must have a king. No. No, no. <laughs> Distraught over losing Lucifer when she's finally certain of her feelings for him, Chloe asks him to stay by professing her love. Please don't go. I... I love you. My love, my love, my I love you. Please don't leave. In response, Lucifer confesses that Chloe's the only person who's managed to make the devil truly love someone in his millennia of existence. My first love was never Eve. Wish you, Chloe. It always has been. Intended as their final kiss, this embrace is their most passionate yet. It signifies Chloe's influence on Lucifer, as he unselfishly leaves to keep mankind safe from demons. Although a heartbreaking separation, the love between the pair is palpable enough to be felt even when they're left worlds apart. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.